automatic vectorization for Vesas point clouds inside Rhinoceros 6. So have your point cloud loaded, select slices, here I've selected a slice of the top, so now we can move vertically through the point cloud. So just here selecting like the bottom of the point cloud, so the floor area. Make sure the top view is selected and then click the vector icon down there. Uh, this now has produced a vector drawing based on where that slice was. And I'm just showing this here. I've turned the point cloud off and just showing the, uh, the vectorization there. Now I'm going to move the slice to the top of the building. Then carefully make sure you have selected the top view. Very important. Now click vector and just turn the point cloud off again just to show you that we now have the floor and the roof. Um, they've, it's done very basically just selecting the bottom and top. You would obviously spend more time doing this and you can do lots more layers. Um, now I'm going to select the front view here and create a slice. So now I can slice the, the rear and the front of the building. So just moving it to the front there. Making sure I select the front view, very important. Click vector. We now have the front. I'm going to move this to the back or the middle, kind of in this case, just to get the, the bulk of the building. Uh, selecting the front again, because that's what we want. Click to vector. I'm going to turn the point cloud off. Fantastic, there we go. So, very quickly, just showing you uh, the tops and the front and the back in a, into a vector.